Hey guys, this is Rick Uster here with Airgun Web, where we're going to tell you the facts, not fluff. And today, we're taking a look at a rifle from one of my favorite manufacturers of all times, Air Arms. This is the S510 twin cylinder, and this is a wonderful hunting platform. Stay with us. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the S510 platform in general, but before I do that, I want to talk a little bit about Air Arms. Air Arms, and, and I met with the owner of the, of the company, the managing member, managing partner, whatever you want to call her, she's awesome, her name is Claire, and she has a passion for air gunning. And you know the trend now that I've seen so many of these other air gun manufacturers, they're being bought out by this company or that company, and then all of a sudden that company just wants to make money. It, look, we all want to make money, that's all part of the equation, don't get me wrong. But when you lose the passion for the sport and you lose the passion for creating products that really resonate with air gunners out there, that's when things... Uh, they start looking at just the bottom line and you, I think you miss the elegance of what you can bring to the sport. Well, the beautiful thing about Air Arms is it, this is a company of air gunners that love the sport and they build rifles because they love to shoot and they love the sport. And that is reflected in everything they put out. They don't rush things to market. They bring things out that are just exactly what they're supposed to be. And the twin cylinder has been around for a while. And I really wish it had gotten more press, and, and that's why I begged and begged and begged, please let me do a review of the twin cylinder. Let me tell you why. Okay, so first of all, going back to the S510 platform, this is available in your basic rifle, Ultimate Sporter. They're coming out with a new regulated version of the Sporter. I think that's out now. At least you can pre-order it. You've got uh, the TDR version, and now you've got the twin cylinder version, and obviously twin cylinder version has two cylinders, so you get a lot more shots. So this rifle is really about that hunter that wants to go out and take small game. It doesn't want to have to worry about, oh, I just took 20 shots, I got to fill my gun up again, or I took 30 shots, I got to fill my gun up again. For this video, we shot the Air Arms 18 grain pellets. They're a JSB variant, I believe, but they are specially built for these guns and the accuracy between like the standard 18.13 grain JSBs and these pellets, there's actually a difference and these shoot a whole lot better. I don't know why, I'm not an engineer, I don't know how all that works, but I'll tell you that the Air Arms pellets in their guns work really, really well. They're dialed in for how they do things, and you can definitely see that reflected on the target down range. Some of the other features, if you're not familiar with the S510 platform, let me just go through them real quick. So you've got a fill area here. One of these is a is a is just a nub, okay. So this one is just a cap, just holds the place there but your fill port's right here on this gun. Okay, there's, it comes with an adapter that you just put to your, fill, your air tank or you put on your you know, hand pump or whatever, and then that connects here, you can fill your gun up. On the bottom, you have your pressure gauges. So we're gonna monitor your pressure. Now, I fill this to 200 bar, and I shoot down to about 100 bar, and that gives you a lot of shots. Just, uh, that's sort of the range I like to stay in. Uh, it is a side lever action here. So the cocking action, you pull back here and it cocks the gun. Super smooth. The one thing about Air Arms and the S510 action, it is like liquid butter. It's amazingly smooth, the cock. It's one of the things that really, I think, sets the, the higher end air guns apart from the lower end air guns. Just all the fit and finish is exactly what you expect for what you're paying for them. All right, this comes with a 10-shot rotary magazine. You can buy extra of those if you want to have some extras in the field, which, because of the shot count on this gun, probably definitely something you want to do. It has 11-millimeter dovetail. That's where you can mount your optic. So right here, as I turn this wheel, this is a power adjuster, and you can go from very little power to max out. And where that sits in this gun, all the way low, you're shooting at about 350 feet per second with these 18 grain pellets, and that's pushing right around five foot pounds. So that's basically nothing. <laughs> but if you wanna shoot at 10 yards in your basement or 10 yards in your garage, or you just wanna plink super quietly just for having fun and target practice, it's absolutely effective, and you'll get some amazing accuracy. You go up to about 500 feet per second, 
And now you start to be able, you can shoot 10 to 15 yards pretty, pretty reliably and get some really good groups. But let's say you want to go hunting. Let's say you want to turn it all the way up. Well, you can turn the dial all the way up, and I usually back it down just a little bit because there's not a lot of difference between full tilt and just slightly off. Uh, you just save a little bit of air if you back it off just a little bit. But you're shooting very, very close to 900 feet per second, which then equates to over 32 foot pounds. So this gun will go from low power at five foot pounds all the way to high power over 32 foot pounds. Now 32 foot pounds gives you a ton of range. At 900 feet per second with these 18 grain pellets, you're looking at being accurate well beyond 100 yards. So for this review, I went ahead and mounted the Hawk Air Max 30. This scope is built on a great chassis, very rugged, uh, very reliable, beautiful glass, and I love the reticle. It uses the Hawk AMX reticle, and I really, really like it. It has a nice tree at the bottom, gives you some great aim points when you're shooting at longer ranges, which is why I use this, because we're out there hunting prairie dogs. Boy, you know, you never know where you're going to be range-wise and what the wind's going to be doing. So it gives you a lot of flexibility with the reticle to be able to sort of put the shot where you need to put it, which is super nice. Uh, 30 millimeter tube. This particular model is adjustable from 3 to 12 power. When I'm out hunting, I'll normally set up my gun on one power setting. So let's say I'll set this on 10 power. I'll do all my testing at 10 power. When I go out in the field, I just leave it there. So that means that my reticle and my mill dot spacing stays consistent because it is a second focal plane scope. So if you change your magnification, that's going to change the distance between your mill dots, at least what's superimposed on your, on your sight picture. So if you're going to go hunting, my suggestion, you know, pick a power you want to use. Maybe it's 8, maybe it's 9, maybe it's 10, maybe it's 6. Who, who, who cares? But find something you're going to be comfortable with, with based on the ranges you're going to be shooting. Uh, set your power. Do all your setup there sight it in, make sure you've got your holdovers, all that stuff calculated so when you get in the field, you can be as accurate as possible with those first couple shots. You don't have to necessarily take 10, 10 shots to walk it in. The trigger is fully adjustable, so if you want to play with that and get it as crisp as you like with no travel and all those other things, you can definitely dive into that and do that. I find it works great right out of the box. It's probably about a two pound trigger out of the box. You can definitely make it less if that's what you want to do. Uh, the safety is right here if you want to put it on safe. It's right there. The trigger is super convenient. It is manual. It doesn't automatically reset after each shot, which I find my preference. For accuracy, this is a one inch or sub one inch at 50 all day long. Now, I don't know what it is with me, but I'll be having a great shot group going as you're going to see here on camera. Just, yeah, I'm just tickled silly. And then I come to the, like the last shot and I throw it off. But let me tell you, if you miss with this gun, it's all on you. It's not the gun. It is absolutely 100% on you because these guns are super accurate. Lothar Walther barrels, just really, really a great platform. If you want to go out hunting and you don't have to worry about shot count or carrying around a bunch of gear, this thing is awesome. It's really why I begged and pleaded for them to let me finally review this gun because I love the twin cylinder platform just because of the shot count. S510 chassis is just one of the most reliable and accurate and really I think for the value you get at the price point it's really exceptional. Guys that's going to wrap it up for today. I want to say thank you to Pyramid Air for sponsoring Airgun Web in these videos and remember when you need to buy your next air gun or you're looking to get your next batch of air gun supplies don't forget these air arms pellets. They are awesome. If you're buying an air arms gun look at those pellets. Anyway when you're looking to buy your next batch of stuff go to www.pyramidair.com and please let them know that Rick sent you their way. My name is Rick Utzer here with Ergon Web, where we're going to tell you the facts, not fluff. Thanks for watching.